Hey guys, welcome back to Avorian, the spaceship building, galaxy exploring, goods trading, game of exploration and wonder. My name is Twitchy and we have literally just got over a fight with the AI, a horrific hydra of a boss that just kept on coming at us no matter how often we shot it to pieces. But we did not run into him intentionally. Oh, no, no, no. We ran into him twice, and twice it was why we were following the storyline that has to do with this guy in front of me here. You may remember that we met the hermit, and the hermit told us to go look for a smuggler. Well, we found the smuggler, and he was like, hey, can you carry some stuff for me, man? And I was like, yeah, of course I can. It's part of the storyline. I can do these things. We jumped out to the, the, the place that he wanted us to be, and there was an AI waiting for us. That was no problem. We kind of just dealt with it and ran away as you do. Uh, but when we came, when we uh, got back to him, we uh, handed the goods over and he was like, haha, suckers, and flew away. This guy then messaged us out of nowhere and was like, hey, I can help you get back at him. The reason he jumped away so quick is because he's got a piece of Zotan technology. And we just happened to be collecting a lot of Zotan technology. Uh, so we teleported, uh, teleported out to go find a whole bunch of things to make a disruption beam that will take out this guy's, uh, this guy's hyper jump capabilities. And when we got back, the AI was waiting for us again. I'm, I'm kind of a little bit convinced that these guys are setting us up just to fight the AI. But uh, anyway, I lost my two ships. I've taken substantial damage. I think we need to rebuild the fleet. And avoid here, look, we got one ship of the AI. Ooh. Oh, we can come and fight it again anytime we want then. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm just uh, jumping around to try and go and fix the fleet up. I've got a got a new new message. Hey, uh, Biff, uh, welcome again, my repeated friend that we meet quite often during this uh, this playthrough. You seem like someone who would enjoy owning a station. You know what, I was thinking about making a wheat station now that you name it. Do you want me to show you the quickest way to get one? Quickest legal way, that is. Uh, but yeah, go on then, why not? See that shipyard over there? You can have ships built at any shipyard. It's true, though normally I just do it out in the wilds. But yeah, it's true. If you want to found a station, you need to make sure you check the station founder when you give your order to the crew at the shipyard. All right, thanks, I'll check it out. Be sure to bring enough money. You need at least four million. Ugh, I've literally just crossed that threshold to found one. Uh, it doesn't matter if you don't have the money right now, though. You can always do it later and use the ship as normal for now. I mean, that's that's pretty that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Uh, we definitely should try and find ourselves uh, a bit more liquid cash. Uh, I, I, you, re you remember, you remember all the way back here. We've got these uh, these luxury food farms that just will not be sated. Yeah, we could probably do that better. Where are the other Where are the other food farms? There's there's normally more than that. <laughs> there we go. Jumping over into Sir Carryhead. Yes, there are more than that. An interesting bug. Cool, we just spent a cool 1.3 million picking up 500 luxury food. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently this time because uh, normally we put in the whole route and then he gets stuck halfway. So I'm just gonna go to the next casino, sell everything I can. When it goes, oh, no merchants, I'm gonna move them on to the next one. Should we uh, swing by a few of these emergency calls while we're at it? Looks like it's just the three. Okay, here's the first place. Looks empty. Okay, got grayed off the list. That's cool. All right, where, where else are we going to go? I've uh, got to be honest with you. I'm kind of hoping we can run into Swokes as well because uh, another one of those plus 10 uh, systems would be would be very nice. <laughs> I hope it's not the AI up this way anyway. Oh. 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 I can't. I'm not allowed. How do I? Oh, that's kind of annoying. Oh, if I come in from the top. Okay, okay. That's a bit weird. Why would you let me in one direction but not another? 28 seconds, though. Oh. Every time we jump, it gives us a new thing. Oh, look, 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 look there's a person. Hey, how you doing? Wreckage? Uh, I'm not sure about this. Hello, Mr. Wreckage. How you doing? Were we too late? Let's let's get up close and see what we can do. We're not in a salvage yard, are we? No. Okay. I kind of feel like this isn't it, though. Uh, they're like actively radioing, right? So this 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 won't be it. Can can we do anything with it, though? No. No, nothing at all. Okay. Oh, F interact. Search for information. Uh, you're not close enough. Oh, well. 
Okay, we're, we're within 100 meters. That, that should be better. My dearest Lucille, the space cruise I've booked has proven to be incredibly relaxing. We're traveling through the sector, seeing incredible sights and enjoying amazing food. The best thing about this voyage, however, is not that we are entertained by extravagant shows or that we are staying in very comfortable rooms, but a young man named Jack. He is making my stay on the Synatit my best of my, uh, the best of my life. Synatit? I don't know, I've never, never heard of it. We are spending every minute, waking minute together, and he is the first man in my life that is making my heart beat faster. Dot, dot, dots. Lucille, I'm afraid. I don't know what to do. Right after a hyperspace jump, our ship has, has struck a huge asteroid. There's a giant hole in one part of the ship, and they say it might break apart at any moment. I'm waiting to be evacuated, but there are rumors that I'm, there might not be enough escape capsules on board. Oh, no. Nobody expected such a big ship like the Synatit to have an accident. And the worst part is I can't find Jack. Oh, no, I'm all alone. <laughs> oh, that, that's a shame. That's a shame. Let's give it a search. The ship looks like it's been dead for a while. There's no heat registered on your scanners. All crew aboard is frozen stiff. Oh, the energy generators look torn apart. It may have released toxic fumes into the system. Yeah, I should tell members of, of their faction. Yeah, totally. Oh, that's... Uh, Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go and let them know at some point. Um, okay, it, 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 it still counts as part of the emergency call. Okay, we've been updated. That's fine, that's fine. Let's go and, let's go and do that. Zelly organization. There they are. Let, let's, let's go up that way. Okay, there he is. There he is. We are friends with these. You can tell by the way that they are blue. So uh, hopefully we're gonna. I mean, I'm I'm gonna go up and have a look at him. It's, it's a bit rude to do it from like you know thirty thousand kilometers or whatever. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. How you doing? Uh, can I? It's, it's not. It's not letting me interact. Hey, dude. I think I might need to go to a station. Okay, I'm like super super close now. Hi, but buddy, buddy. Do you wanna? You, you don't. You don't. You just don't want to talk at all, do you? Okay, there's a biotope. Let's go and uh, let's go and have a chat with these guys, shall we? See if they see if they care. Hi, welcome to the automated interaction. Uh, I have news for you, Mr. Automated Interaction System. Uh, this is sad news, really. I don't I don't even get to deliver my information. To, uh, okay, uh, thanks for letting us know. We transferred some money to your account for your troubles. I really didn't do it for the money, guys. I did it for the reputation. Did it? Did I get any reputation? I mean, 10 grand's nice, but did I get any reputation? I don't think I got any reputation. Wait, where where has a big enough hole to take all that luxury food? What? This must be a big casino. Let's go and have a look. I've been sending the ships over to where the mining ship is, just to chill out for an hour, to be honest, and, and do some mining and then just kill some pirates that turn up, you know? Uh, yeah, let's have a look and see what, what's going on with this casino. It's going to be huge, right? Oh, look, it's a, it can take literally a thousand. Okay. Well, we're getting close to having the money. Let's send Sir Carryhad back and try and just start filling him up every time. Oh, it's a new one. Ah, I totally thought this beacon was one we'd seen before. Uh, we've got uh, number 31 of Operation Exodus, 202. Okay, that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, look, also made a sale of five a million. Oh, that is amazing. We have moved our mining operation down by one, and I think it's time that we went and saw the smuggler. Okay, so we're in the sector with the smuggler's hideout. I don't think we're about to get in a fight. I think we're just about to pick up some orders to go, which will then eventually lead into a fight. But let's just fly up pretty close to this guy and be like, hey, how you doing? And in fact, just to be sure, no, not this one, just to be sure, I want to go into my systems and I want to put this bad boy in place. Yeah. Hey, man. How you doing? Greetings, greetings, greetings. Interested in earning a lot of money for easy work? Oh, yeah. Good. All we have to do is take this cargo to the checkpoint. All right, cool. Should be easy as pie. Okay, nice. Awesome. We've got one suspicious goods. Okay, let's do it. It's quite a distance away. It's this one again. Okay, all right. I think I'm gonna send the fleet ahead of me, like one jump away, and then use my big jumps to get in there. So that's the grandest entrances path. That's the ladies. Okay, other than this one jump here, which I kind of have to go through unless I want to go out and around this rift, uh, I 
think we can avoid the uh, the settled civilizations again, almost certainly. Of course, the real question is what happens if I come in here and they're like, hey, 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 what's going on? Uh, I need to go through one of these. It's the uh, the West Gate. Uh, do you think I'm going to get in big trouble? I, th I think I'm going to get in big trouble. I kind of knew this would be a problem. Um, I, I was hoping I was hoping that we would get away um, as smooth as we did last time. I mean, I'm just, just going to ignore him. Uh, I, I don't know if they've allowed for that. I was kind of expecting shots to have been fired by now. I've got a little bit of reputation with these guys, so hopefully it's going to be all good. Just just slip on through the gate, right? I wonder if there's going to be any ramifications from that. Oh, oh hey, uh, this is this is my inconvenient. Not quite what I was looking to get into here, but I could do with another one of those plus 10 uh, turrets. Let's uh yeah, nobody, goodbye. Not so fast. No, 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 mate. You dead. Okay, that's Swook's dead. There's the purple pickup. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Actually, let's uh, let's let's wait, lay down some destruction, shall we? That that seems like a better idea. We can't leave these pirates just laying behind now, can we? Spinning around in a circle. Definitely my plan there. Whole damage. What whole damage? I, I, I don't know what you're on about. Okay, latest brother Swokes was good for a farm, but not what I'm here for. So my real question is, does jumping through places with asteroids count as inhabited sectors? You know, because it's like empty sectors, 10 consecutive empty sectors will get you one of the bosses, right? So, like, do the asteroids count? What's the... I mean, I'm in a totally empty sector. If we press F9, nothing going on. If I open this, it's just me. But, in front of me, we have a storage grid. Like, what? Hey, Mr. Container, can I open you at any point? Is that actually a thing? No. These Zotan just don't seem to care. Okay, I've met up with the rest of the fleet. It is time to take... Oh, well, we don't need the tractor beam, and we don't need the quantum hypersonic jump. But we do, however, need a, uh, a hyperdrive overloader to stop him dying. Well, maybe, maybe some energy... Upgrade wouldn't go amiss as well. Okay, cool. Let's go over to him. It's literally just this one last jump here. Uh, and uh, when he's like, ha, 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 we can be he, he, he. Hopefully no AI this time. Fingers crossed, no AI. All right, no AI this time. Yay. Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm just going to come get a little bit closer right now. You know, I, th I feel like just... Just coming up and being all chummy might be a, a good plan. At least being like weapon strike distance away from the moment we can get going might be a good one. Do we want to be in front of him so he has to turn? That that might also. Okay, I think at this point my weapons should begin to strike him. He's in a big ship, isn't he? Let's uh, let's take a moment to compare. Oh, I think his might be bigger. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's go. F. Hey, uh, I have destroy hyperspace. Boom. Charging. The hyperspace engine has been destroyed. I have your goods. Wait a second. You again? Screw this. I'm out. Huh? Why can't I jump? You did this. You destroyed my hypersonic drive. Prepare to die. Why is he moving when the tech screen's open? All right. Well, anyway, here we go. Um, where, where is? There we go. Grand Ascension's coming in. I just kind of need to get moving, I suppose. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of trying to strafe side. But is, he, is he even? Is he even shoot? Is he even pew pew? I mean, he kind of is, but he's not doing that great a deal of damage, really. I, I, I kind of feel like we can just sit here for a while. Is, is he just all defense? Is that is that his strat? He's just he's just a defensive boy. It's going to take a while for us to actually be able to like get through what's going on. He's taken half my shields out already. I didn't quite realize. Let's take a let's take a, a moment to uh, to get a little bit of distance on this situation and then come back in in a sec. Okay, can I shoot from this range? I don't know how far uh, my my shots will strike. Uh, more importantly, I'm not sure if I can draw his attention uh, while like playing at 
playing at some range whilst my fellow companions do a bit more damage. Oh, he, he does a lot of damage, doesn't he? He does a lot of damage. Okay, let's 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 book it. Let's book it. Uh, that that moment to turn around is probably going to be a, a winner for me. Uh, and then yes, there go my guys uh, to keep the pressure up. That's that's kind of the important part, right? Is we do, we just keep the pressure up, keep the pressure high. Uh, I I don't know what the best strat here is, especially given how beefy. He actually is. He's very beefy. Very, very beefy indeed. Uh, would it be better to be up the top of him, do you think? He's definitely got some, like, forward-facing guns. Uh, let's let's just try and get right right in him. Uh, that that's a little that's a little too much. That's that's far too much. That's far 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 too much. Uh, he does, however, seem to have trouble shooting me here. I don't I don't know whether this is a a, a winner. Let's try it. Let's try. Let's let's try this for a bit. I, I I think we might be ever so slightly cheesing it, but that that's also cool, right? That's also cool. Noticing that my shields are actually going down, so we're probably gonna have to pull out. Okay, let's go. Let's let's get a bit bit of distance. Maybe give it give my shield some time to recharge. I mean, the problem is he's also got hits, so I don't know where to go with that. I don't know what the lady's up to. Hey, lady, what are you doing? The fact that he's so strongly focusing on me, I think should be working to our advantage. Um, should be, anyway. He doesn't seem to be taking that much abuse. We are nearly down, but then so am I. I'm not sure how this is going to play out. It's just long and attrition-y at the moment, but that that's kind of okay. Uh, he, he's kind of taking his shots at the grandest entrance. I'm kind of fine with that. If he just carries on shooting at the grandest entrance, it gives me a chance uh, to whittle away on his shields here. Uh, I'm not sure where the best spot to be shooting him will be. I'm actually, like, regenning shields at this point. That's pretty sweet. That is very sweet. Grandest entrance down to about half shields, but I'm, I'm willing to accept this risk. <laughs> Oh, here comes the lady. She, she decides she does want to join in, really. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see whether she actually gets some shots off before he disappears somewhere else. Oh, he's going to try and fly through us. We're not about that, though. We are not about that. Man, those Tesla cannons, they really do put out the power. Or well, at least I, they look like they put out the power. We'll have to find out uh, for actuality. They seem to be doing all right. They seem to be doing all right. I'm a little bit worried about my shields now. I've just noticed that I'm about to run out, and but so is he. So I don't, I don't know whether I'm gonna run or whether we're just gonna let the whole. Yeah, I think we're just gonna let the whole uh, absorb this for now. Hopefully, we can get some more damage in than he can put out. That that would be great. If if only the lady was also taking part here. I think she might be, but it'll be hard to find out it's hard to find out I, all i all i really see is the stream of plasma from the grandest entrance uh there's some guns that I, I really wish we could like concentrate fire in specific spots and blow specific bits up that would be very very handy just to say, like take his weapons out oh that that would be a play style wouldn't it the, the like the sniper that that would be very good i mean like have we done so i mean i, I thought maybe maybe i don't see any guns firing from anywhere now that that would be very handy if i've actually gone around and kind of crippled it yeah, i'm just i'm on the lookout for bullets now if we see any bullets flying from him uh there from the front uh your cargo pay is full okay cool that's that's fine i suppose i'm surprised he's not had any smuggler friends turn up to help him out that's uh that's a thing Okay, there's another gun. Let's let's try and take that specifically out. No, it, it really doesn't work like that. It really doesn't. It would be cool if it did, but I don't think so. All right, we're very close to having him out now. There we go. Oh, we did it. We did. Look, there it is. There it is. There's a purple bit. Ah, oh, we got you. Yeah, it was a big ship. Like a big, big ship. And we were just like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I feel pretty good about this. I feel pretty good. Mission accomplished. The smugglers. But hey, la hey, lady. Lady, stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> were you working for them all this time? Is that what you've been doing? <laughs> Man, like if, if you've actually been trying just to attack the grandest entrance all this time, I'm not going to be impressed. Talking of grandest entrance, hey, my friend, orders, salvage. But I think with that, rather than try and run into another 50-minute episode, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we beat up the smuggler. Yes, last time he betrayed us, and this time we betrayed him. Well, I mean, we didn't. We, we used a, a thing that shut down his hyperdrive, and then... 
and just gave it to him. Uh, next time, more expansion. And I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.